Hello Hoops, I'm back with some very important Celtic news. If you love this club, hit the like button. Here, I bring you the latest updates from Glasgow Celtic. This is a breaking news update. Celtic fans are buzzing this season, and if you want to stay up to date with daily news straight from Celtic Park, I want to invite you to subscribe to the channel and enable notifications so you don't miss any of the news I bring to you. Brendan Rodgers had Ally McCoist, a Rangers legend, in stitches with a sharp comment about the pundits' chances of getting Celtic tickets. The Celtic boss reflects on a weekend of joy. The Irishman has been basking in the glory of Derby Day. After Kyogo's beautiful goal at Ibrox secured a 1-0 victory in his return to the famous Premiership clash. Despite injuries, his team managed to send a menacing message to their title rivals, fighting tooth and nail to secure the three points while Michael Beale's squad was loudly booed off the pitch. Next up for Rodgers is a league clash with Dundee before Celtic embarks on their Champions League group stage adventure against Feyenoord in Rotterdam. The win over Rangers was even sweeter considering the absence of away fans. As the two clubs continue to disagree over the allocation of visitor tickets, Celtic refused 708 tickets due to safety concerns. Following a drastic reduction in the traditional allocation of 8,000 tickets in the Broomlone Road stand five years ago during Rogers' first stint in charge of Celtic. Rogers was speaking to Alan Brazil and Ibrox icon McCoist on TalkSport, and the passionate Celtic supporter, Brazil, teased his co-host, saying, always good to secure the first win, Brendan. To which Rogers delivered a killer response, I'm a bit worried for Ally now, if they start taking tickets away from home supporters, he might not get in. The packed home crowd booed the home team off the field, and McCoist told Rogers it was a mediocre game and asked if his approach had changed slightly due to the absence of away fans. Rogers added, when you play away from home in these types of matches, you need to try to silence the home support. The stadium was electric before the game, but I've always believed that when you go to Ibrox, you need to control the game and possession, and we were able to do that in the first half. We quickly found a nice rhythm in the match, that can change the atmosphere in the stadium. Celtic is back in the title race, and fans are eagerly anticipating more exciting moments under Brendan Rodgers' guidance. Now, Hoop, it's over to you. What did you think of this news? It's always important to leave a comment so that Celtic knows what its supporters are thinking. And, of course, if you made it this far, don't forget to hit that like button to motivate me to bring you more Celtic news. Thank you.